More Gaza hostages were freed on Wednesday. Israel said the temporary truce with the Hamas militant group will continue as mediator efforts are ongoing. Ten Israeli hostages arrived back in Israel. Among them, five women, three children and two 18-year-old men. Another four Thai hostages were also released, along with two women holding dual Russian and Israeli citizenship, outside the terms of the deal. The release of the two women was described by Hamas as in recognition of the efforts of Russian President Vladimir Putin. In return, according to the Qatari Foreign Ministry, Israel released 30 Palestinians, 14 women and 16 minors. Alongside emotional reunions, these were fresh reminders of the tragic stakes of the conflict. Israel's army stated it was probing a report by Hamas that a 10-month-old baby hostage his four-year-old brother and their mother had all been killed in bombing in Gaza. In a statement, it said it is assessing the accuracy of the information. With tensions high, the Palestinian Health Ministry in the West Bank stated the Israeli army shot and killed an eight-year-old boy and a teenager. The military said troops had responded with live fire after explosive devices had been hurled at them. The World Food Programme has warned Gaza's population and it has said that the population faces a high risk of famine if the humanitarian organization is not able to provide continued access to food. The spokesman for the Hamas-run territory's health ministry said doctors found five premature babies dead in Gaza City's Al Nasser Hospital. <laughs> According to the United Nations, an estimated 1.7 million Palestinians in Gaza have been forced to leave their homes so far. More than half the territory's population. Our correspondent Jody Cohen is at the Sheba Medical Center in Israel's Ramad Gan. She spoke with Itamar, a teenager in Israel who is suffering from PTSD. Listen in. I'm with Itamar and his mother, Ilanit. Um, Itamar is a well known figure in Israel and he's suffering from post traumatic stress disorder. Um, Itamar doesn't speak. He, uh, English, so his mother will be translating, but I'm going to ask him about his experiences. So can you tell us about your experiences? You live in Ashkelon, which is near the Gaza border. Can you tell us some things about your experiences over the last seven weeks? Very difficult, but we have to suffer this because we want um, everything is over and we don't feel this stress and fear that we live a lot of years under attack and missiles. And what have you seen in terms of the rockets and and how do you feel now with this uh, the ceasefire? Do you want it to continue? I want that ceasefire will not end. I want to uh, Israel will win the Hamas and understand that this is ISIS Hamas, a very horrible organization. And my wish, my big wish, that all of the kidnaps will return to his families to home. Thank you.